back from the gym, but I should have stained. Hamish didn't spew today, so that's good. He spewed on Tuesday. Hey, Ham. Yeah. Big workout. That's when I was real fatigued, so I didn't go. Hamish, like, got messed up, and he's still really sore. But today we did, I think, chest and back a little bit. Um, Hamish is just making a smoothie, so he wants to film it for you. Well, I don't know what do you want it? <laughs> Then fill the rest of the water. Yay, there it is. Yum. Okay. Do you know it to taste different, do different uh, protein flavours. Do you like this one? Do you want to try it? Yeah. Is that your tummy? Yeah. Mmm. Good. Nutty. Uh, I remember someone asked me as well if they don't like walnuts or if you know you can't have walnuts for whatever reason. A good alternative is to use a you know teaspoon, heat teaspoon, or a couple of teaspoons of almond butter. Put that in your smoothie. It's so good. Or if you like peanut butter, you could probably use that too. Can you do almond butter if it's nut? What if you're allergic to nuts? Well, if you're allergic to nuts, you wouldn't put nuts in it. Yeah. What yeah. sort of? I was asking. Well, you probably just do like chia seeds and then like your flavour. So like, you could do avocado, couldn't you? Or, or you could use what else? Oh, or fruit, like yeah. whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Hi, who's this? Who is this? Oh, look at those ears! You're so cute and fluffy. Oh, he's all wet because he's a good boy and he goes outside. Hey, he's like, um, can I have a T R E A T? Unfortunately, the other day we had an earthquake, and you can see because I was supposed to vlog, this one wasn't here. So basically, like. These were all stacked all nicely, right? And we had a glass treat jar right here. And what happened was we had an earthquake and 20 minutes after the earthquake, I walk out here to get something out of the pantry because I was making myself some oats. And I open up the door and the cans had rolled into the glass, pushed it, and of course, as soon as I opened the door, it just splat. <sighs> and it was such a big mess. This huge thing fell. Louis tried to eat the snacks. The snacks had glass shards all through them. I was trying to friggin get what? Were you happy when it happened? No, I cried because I was I having a really bad. bad day. I'd had a really bad sleep and then that happened. I had a real bad day mm -hmm. um, and it was just the icing on the cake and I was just like, are you kidding me? Yeah. And for the rest of the day I went on strike and just sat there and did sweet F all because I was just like, you know what? Today's done. I'm done <laughs> with today. But then the next day, I had a good sleep, gooder, better sleep. Hey, had a better sleep. I had a good workout. I had this cute dog. Okay. Hey. He's off. I managed to take the beans to Louis. No, he already had one. He's like, yes. Yeah. You called. <laughs> Here, baby. Ouch. <laughs> Bit my finger. There you go. What's your ear doing? He's under the ear con. So spoiled. Did you just bite me? If I don't care, I'd do it again. I'd do it again. Two small of your jollies, or you could use just a Editing one. it now. Mm, yum. A teaspoon of this. This is TikTok, by the way. Turmeric drink. Did my LED treatment. Look at my eyes. Um, and put some dry shampoo in, her shower and all that. So now I'm going to film a foundation first impression, then I'm going to edit, then I'm going to do my makeup, then I might film another video, and then I'm going to edit some more. <laughs> um, that's today's plan. I wasn't going to film today, but I kind of feel like it, so. Alright, first impression filmed. I filmed, well I didn't actually film, I snapchatted Instagram storied. What is the right word? I put it up on my stories, my eye makeup and everything, the lighting's trash. Where's the good lighting at? I can never figure it out anymore since... You know the seasons changed but it's the super smoky eye um this is new eyeshadows from exo beauty lips is summit with exo beauty lip gloss that might be coming soon i'm still working it out 
um, my face products, obviously the first impression, but also the Benefit Bronze Cheerleaders palette on my cheeks. And my lashes are the Panther Bakes so Beauty, which I'm going to peel off shortly. This one keeps like falling off, literally. Look at them. Testing out new glues and things and... A struggle so i'm just going to prep some dinner now i don't even know um but i just want to like do a little bit of editing and just chill so i'm going to prep dinner now so that i don't have to do it later let's do it So this is going to do four meals at least. This is not just for one meal. 400 grams of pumpkin, um, 300 I think of sweet potato, a carrot and a parsnip. I'm also going to do spinach, feta, balsamic glaze and some toasted nuts. I'll just pour some oil over. No, this is definitely not keto. <laughs> it's about as carby as you can get. We've got garlic and herb seasoning. Nice, a generous amount. This one's really good. It's got no fillers. It's by Mingle. I was going to say one of my favorite seasoning brands, but it's probably my favorite seasoning. Um, man, salt and pepper. And I'll just let those like chill. I'm just going to pop them in the oven like this. And then later all I have to do is assemble and toast the nuts. And yeah. That's it. And I'm peckish, but it is 3.20. So I'm going to have a sugar loaded day and have another friggin' smoothie with my feet jollies because it's just so good. Um, and it's all I really feel like right now because <laughs> I'm not that hungry, but like I want something. And it's just so freaking amazing. Stop, it's so good. Mmm. Yum. Is it this one? It's white stuff. It's white yeah. way. Sugar. Mmm. That's so yum. Out of 10, I'd give it a 10. I usually do halloumi, but we had to use that feta. Mm-hmm. And here is dinner. I was meant to do some grilled capsicum as well, because we've got shitloads in the fridge, but I forgot. So, no capsicum, but we've done some olives on there as well. Yum. And there's certain ones that are Kalamata pitted olives? Yeah, Kalamata black pitted olives. My chopping boards came! Someone's like, oh, you should change your chopping boards. And I was like, nah. And then I looked at them and I'm like, actually, we've had these for literally, I don't even know how many years. I was like, fair enough. So we've got some plastic ones now. I got these ones from, we got these from Smith & Coe's. And fun fact, Exo Beauty stocked on their website. Amazing. Flash. But anyway, yeah, I got these ones. So we just got back from the gym, by the way. 
I burnt freaking a shit ton of calories. Because we did high intensity cardio, I did half an hour intense as cross trainer and then half an hour incline like level 10 power walking and I'm rinsed and I'm still like puffed, like we've driven home and look, my heart rate's still up. But anyways, let's open these. Boom, so it's just where we like it. And it looks really nice. Oof. There you go. Also look at my plant, I'm so proud of him. He's like going so well, I need to get some more pots um, and like you know, trim it a bit and like replant some and move it to like some different rooms in the house because it's getting out of control. Um, where's the cutest place to buy some cute pops and things? All right, guys. Oh my god, I look like a mess. I filmed a full face first impression and it was low key a disaster. <laughs> Love that for me. Anyways, I've just picked giveaway winner number one. I've decided to do two. So the winner of the hourglass stuff is we have Livy. Kate, what I do is I use this thing. Here we go. Commented, I mean, what commented? Copied and pasted it. Check there, yep. Here you are. What's up, girl? You are the winner of the hourglass stuff. All right, next winner. Ching, 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 ching. Hey, girl, you are the winner of a random box of makeup. So, I will also send you a DM. Done and dusted. Thank you guys so much for watching the vlogs. I appreciate you. Um, once I get those DMs, I'll ship your package next week. And stay tuned for more giveaways, guys. I love you guys. I'm a vlog family, so I want to do some more. By the way, I forgot to say, this is the comment. She agrees. Pears are superior. Boom. I'm currently editing this vlog so I can upload it before the weekend. My outfit is real cool today. My slippers my nana knitted me years ago. My ugly stained track pants and a big pink oversized puffy sweater. Anyways, before I upload this, I just want to um, show you what I'm having for lunch. It's just leftovers though. I'm going to heat this up. Nice big bowl of veg. Because I haven't had anything today. I didn't even make a smoothie this morning. Oh, this might even be too much. This is the best with like balsamic vinegar and stuff. If you have like sunflower seeds and stuff, yum. Good morning everyone, it's Wednesday. Yesterday was such a shit day. I had another one of those weird nights where I just couldn't sleep like all night except I managed to push myself to go to the gym yesterday morning. Rinsed myself like my legs are so so we did legs day. So today I'm literally like hobbling around the house. Um, and then this morning we worked our shoulders, upper body kind of thing. It was a struggle to say the least. Um, I might put in some footage of me working out as so well. Why not? I usually put it on Instagram, but I haven't uploaded it just yet. Why am I so weak now? It's the way it goes. Yeah. Oi. Backwards. <laughs> back down, then back up exactly the same way you've just gone. Down to the side. Shoulder middle. Here we go. Come on. Through it down. Up. Through it down. That's it. Up we go. Good. Nice and slow in control. Make those shoulders, those deltoids. Up, around, 
more time back around, up to the middle, right up to the top, out to the side, slowly on the way down. Down, right back up to the top, and you're repping out, going, you're going, you're going, getting as many as you can. Here we go. That's it, that's it, that's it. Keep going, keep going, keep working, keep working. That's it, keep going. Keep pushing. Here we go, get every last rep out. Here we go. That's it, that's it. Keep going, keep going. That's it. That's it. Control it on the way down, nice and slow. Time on the tip. Here we go. Good. I don't want you resting at the start. So from here we come down. As soon as you get down, straight back up. Keep that constant tension in the delts. Here we go, ripping out. It's been a strong game. Good. That's it. Here we go. Up and through. Squeeze. Good. Keep going. Smack. One. Four. Up. Good. That's it. That's it. Good. Three. Here we go. Up. Awesome. Here we go. Good. Two. Squeeze. Three. Here we go. Come on. That's it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Keep That's going. It. Good. Last one. Here we go. Up. And up. There you go. Nice. Oh. Nice. Three. Three. That's it. Allow us to stretch that lap. Squeeze through. Squeeze through. Good. Stay bent knee as you press the top. Tuck that elbow in as you come through. And there we go. Nice. We'll check up. Three jump counts are there. Up and stretch through. Nice. That's it. Good. Squeeze and through. Get that entire hook here thing working hard. Good. We'll find it out. There we go. There. There. Keep going. Keep going. Keep working. There we go. That's it. Nice, you go. Yeah, nice, yeah, good. Two. Here we go, three, nice. Four. Up the top, good. I feel better on the hands? Yeah. Okay. That's up, up by six, here we go. Up the top, three, through. Good, shoulders back down. Nice. Up, good, two more. Make it more three. There you go. And last one. Um, and then came home, had a quick shower, and then we went and actually met with um, an architect on our land that we purchased, what was it now, like a couple of years ago? We haven't started obviously planning yet. Um, when we do, I'm going to be um, vlogging about it because I think you guys will find it interesting, like start to finish process of building a home. So yeah, we found a couple of architects that we recommended. We met with one today. She seems really nice, like she's quite young, really lovely, like... I don't know, just, I just felt like good vibes from her um, and she listened to all our ideas and she was like, yeah, that sounds amazing, like we can have so much fun with this and, you know, like just got good vibes. So me and Hamish are pretty happy and excited. I think we can start doing some plans in maybe four or five weeks. So I'm so excited for that. So I will keep you guys updated. I'll let you guys know who it is closer to that time as well in case you guys want to know um, and we'll let you guys know throughout the process like who we're using. Um, what products, what like things we're using because there's so many different types of cladding and woods and fake woods and plastics and all these different like materials for homes and like the insides and there's a million different avenues you can take as you know so I just want to like show you guys what we choose for every single part like because I think it's exciting. So yeah that's something exciting to look forward to. We probably aren't going to start building right now but we're planning. Um, hopefully we can start building you know within the next like year or something i don't even know to be honest it'll happen when it happens but we just wanted to get the plans done so then like when we're actually ready and we're like okay let's find a builder let's go like you know we're not waiting then a few more months for plans so we're getting that done now um and yeah we've got heaps of exciting stuff actually going on at the moment that i can't wait to talk to you guys about um lots of busy stressful things but very exciting things so for the rest of the day i'm just pretty much editing um, I have had a coffee today because I didn't have any pre-workouts today. First time in so long I've worked out with no pre-workout and it was okay. I think I'm going to try and do it more often because I swear like the pre-workouts I take, like, they can't be good for me long term. But anyway, I also got some packages. I'm also giving Hamish the giveaways that I announced um, to send those today, which is good. And I bought some stuff I want to show you. By the way, this top is something I designed that I was just playing around with for like merch options and stuff it's not actually going to be available i'm still working on it but yeah 
I was just like playing around, if that makes sense. I'm trying to work on it. But it is like the coziest jump ever. Are you excited about the architect time? Yeah, no, we've got the good ones. We um, see some stuff coming through. Yeah, I'm so excited. It's gonna be a big old house. All right. So, I got these. Because I. This is one I've been using, I believe, the lactic acid by The Ordinary, so I got some more. It's been really nice to kind of bring out my congestion. I'm still working on clearing it up, and I had a very anxious weekend. I don't know what happened, but I picked again. But um, it's really helping, like, pull the congestion out and, like, just gently exfoliate my skin and get that, like, gunk out of the surface. And I also got this because I was just reading on the website. It looked really nice. Um, and I'm almost out of one of my other cleansers I'm using at the moment. So this is the Squalane cleanser. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Um, it's a makeup remover as well. Basically it's, um, I can't remember what it's supposed to do. I looked on the website. So it's like an oil cleanser. So you'd use it to remove your makeup, cleanse your skin. And then I would follow up with like my Dermalogica cleanser or my Danish skincare cleanser. But it's, yeah, it's supposed to be really nice for hydration as well. So I thought I'd give it a go. These are really cheap. What else did I get? from Mecca. This is a foundation, I think. Oh my god, I got another mini! I wonder if this is the same color as the other one. Kidding Karma. Oh my god. Sorry, the seasoning on the bench. I um, am marinating some chicken. I did that before we left. <laughs> oh, that's right. I got this. So I asked what you guys wanted first impressions on. Come say hi. Up. Come here. What's this? Come here. No, he doesn't want to. Hi, Zeus. Oh my god, my wings. Say hello. Say hi. I'm the cutest dog in the world. <sighs> He's like, give me attention. But yeah, I asked you guys what um, foundations do a first impression on. And I actually got heaps of people asking for this one, which surprised me because no one really talks about this brand. Look how flash that is. It was expensive. Maybe that's why. Um, it's like a serum foundation with SPF. So sounds good for the daytime. Bougie AF. So I'll do that. I'm probably for my next one gonna do that new Revolution XX foundation and then I'll do the Bobbi Brown after that because I wanna do more foundation first impressions again. And then I've got huge Dermalogica pops here. I've been obsessed with skincare lately, like trying new skincare. Like ever since I cleaned up my bathroom drawers, I've had like such better skincare because I've actually been like, ooh, I wanna use this serum today and that serum today, you know? Like usually I do use my serums pretty well, but. Like, I tended to get lazy because, like, if I couldn't find it, I was just like, man, I just won't do it, you know. Stuff would get, like, lost in my drawers. Whereas now, it's all tidy. If you guys missed that vlog, it's a few vlogs back. I decluttered the bathroom. Ooh! This looks nice. Look. Flash foliant. I like the sound of it. And another box. You guys know I'm a huge fan of Dermalogica, so every time I get something, I'm so excited to try it. We have acne and skin aging. Two problems, one solution. New retinol clearing oil, which sounds amazing. I do really like retinol, but I gave up on it um, just because I kept forgetting to use it and then I'd peel. Whereas this is like a oil, so I feel like it'd be more gentle. And it looks like it's the same range as the salicylic acid that I love by Dermalogica. And then I has got this cute mask. And then we have this product. Clear Start Flash Foliant. Oh my god, so much new skin care. I do have other packages that have arrived too, but I just wanted to open these ones. So I'll probably start doing more declutter, I mean not declutters, will they? Unboxings again. Gen Z consumers live life in the fast lane. That is not me. I'm a millennial, but that's fine. I'm pretty sure I'm a millennial, right? I'm 27. Anyway. Alright, so this is like a super fast product. It's a chemical exfoliant with AHAs and BHAs, which is really good to um, get rid of dead skin cells, unclog your pores and everything. So good for congestion, dull skin, all that kind of stuff. And it says the dispensing mechanism in the cap of the bottle gives exfoliator unique foam. You leave it on. Okay, so it's like a liquid exfoliator basically, kind of like my, Dermal I mean not Dermalogica, kind of like my Danish skincare skin treatment I guess. Um, and it says it is leave-on, clears breakouts, brightens your skin, it's got salicylic acid, um, which is a BHA, and it also has tangerine peel extract, which brightens dull skin, it's an AHA, and it's vegan, cruelty-free, and gluten-free. So obviously I'm not like the age range for this 
range like the clear star range but i still do use it quite a lot because it's just really good for like temperamental skin so that's me still and how does this work invert bottle and squeeze to dispense foam whoa that's kind of cool and then i guess you just use it with your fingers like i mean the picture looks like they just put it on with their fingers i've got moisturizer on so oh my god it smells amazing it smells like oranges and deliciousness like sugar sugar oranges maybe that's the tangerine tangerine peel extract that that'll be what it is it smells so good oh it feels nice it's 38 dollars which isn't too bad considering that's a huge bottle that's 100 ml and the foam obviously is not gonna weigh much i feel like you'd get a lot of uses out of that and you apply it only once a day so yeah i feel like that would last a long time um that's exciting cool so how I've been doing my like skincare, skincare, I don't know why I'm talking so weird, but I've been using like chemical exfoliants, but like alternating. So I use them once a day, but like some days I'll use my lactic acid, some days I'll use salicylic acid, some days I'll use whatever, but like I don't use like salicylic acid and retinol and like I don't do them like all at the same time every day. Like I alternate and then some days I don't use a chemical exfoliant. Um, most days I do though because they're real gentle ones and then I do my um, Dermalogica foaming like exfoliator powder um, like every second or third day especially after the gym because that's when my skin feels really gross with sweat and everything I do need to do like another skincare re um, not review what is it video at some stage but I'll show you guys what I'm using right now I'm going to show you so I still use my Danish skincare sometimes um, which is this one right here Danish skincare smooth skin treatment that's a chemical exfoliant um and then hold on I'm just putting everything down so this is all of my serums and stuff so I usually use chemical ones at night so in the morning my go-to serums are either my clear hill one or my biolumin c which is like a vitamin c serum those are like my morning serums and then in the evening, like I said, I'll alternate between the Age Bright Clearing Serum, which this has salicylic, I think it is. You can see I'm almost out, so that's good. Well, not good, but you know, I feel proud. Or this is the other one I was just talking about, Lactic Acid. So this one's 10%. The one I got is actually a lower percentage, which I didn't realize. Whoops. But that should be okay. So this one's actually stronger, I didn't actually realize. Um, so I usually go between those two. And then I've also got like a hyaluronic acid serum thing and I've also got like oil so that's an oil and that's an oil so I moisturize with this lately this is the clear hill one and then oil after that so serum moisturizer oil after I cleanse and sometimes I use this too because it feels really nice just before I do all that it's a mist and then it cleanses this one's almost empty my Danish skincare or I use my Dermalogica special cleansing gel or well, this one's Hamish's but sometimes I use this too because I really like it the Dermal Clay Cleanser I use that one if my skin feels real sweaty and grubby this one's amazing when I've had makeup on it's just like a gentle foaming cleanser and I've been using the pre-cleanse oil so much oh my god this is here because that's just really good to break down makeup as well I'm getting back into like my double cleansing so I start with like a oil and then foaming afterwards and then I've been using my super foliant like i said every second or third day especially during the gym and i've also got my angels on bare skin which i just like to use sometimes like at night time just to make my skin feel amazing because it's so gentle so yeah those are oh and i've also got my foaming this looks grubby my arcana usually just if it's like a weekend i haven't been at the gym haven't worn makeup like just a nice really gentle natural cleanser and then here i have backup things and extras and stuff my little skincare drawer. <laughs> and I've also got this, which sometimes I put on before bed. It sounds Sleep Cocoon by Dermalogica Moisturizer. Kind of like locks in everything else you put on your face. Yeah, I want to put this in here because I want to try that out too. But yeah, I just always alternate. Um, I love all of these things I showed you just before. Except I'm still unsure on this. I've only used it a couple of times as you can tell. Because I'm almost almost finished using the Pixie Rose Hip Oil. But um, this one's just really heavily scented. It smells amazing. But it's like heavily scented like caramel or something so i don't know like if i should be putting that on my skin or not so here's lunch i made yesterday and then i just made a big batch and like made enough for obviously lunch today as well so it's capsicum halloumi edamame beans and spinach and i obviously reheated it all together so the spinach wilted and went quite small so i just added some 
fresh spinach as well. So we've got like a little mixture of cooked spinach and fresh spinach, edamame beans, and then for sauce it's balsamic. I'm not even showing it, Jesus. Balsamic vinegar and a little bit of aioli in here. Try it for yourself. It's amazing. Oh, and some cooked walnuts. And I just cook them with like the tiniest bit of honey. Like just fry them in a pan until they go really nice and just soft in your mouth almost. Like melt in your mouth. Alright, so we're making about four servings of this cauliflower rice. We've got some oil and garlic in here. Yes, I like a lot of garlic. We've got our marinated chicken thigh. This has just got those coconut amino teriyaki kind of flavor. Some seasoning, salt and pepper. We're gonna salt and pepper the absolute shit out of this too. And add the coconut aminos and sesame. And then at the very end we add egg. Okay, I'm actually gonna use a different pan for the chicken because I've split this in half because there's so much of it. Um, heaps and heaps of cauliflower. This is a bag and a little, which is about five or six servings. But since it's like the bulk of the meal, um, I like to do a little bit extra. There's really not that much to cauliflower, obviously. So it just makes it a little bit more filling. You could add some carbs as well if you want. This is fairly low carb. I like to cook my cauliflower rice until I'm almost worried it's going to burn and then cook it some more. That's the trick to it so it doesn't taste soggy or anything and it tastes more like rice. You need to kind of keep cooking it until the rice starts burning a little bit. I'll show you like the kind of finished texture once we get there. So I'm going to add some of that sesame oil and coconut aminos. I just guess it. You can just like do it to taste and then we've got um, spring onions for serve as well like serving it. So I've got these really yum and a little sesame oil and now that those sauces are in as we stir it you'll notice it will like go more of a brownie golden color rather than like white that's what you want and then also add salt and pepper this is that meal I asked you guys if you wanted a recipe for a couple of vlogs ago so this is it it's very easy and very quick when you cook it really flatten it out like this against the pan or wok just helps to get rid of a lot of that moisture which can make cauliflower rice soggy you want to like cook the absolute shit out of it and get it a bit more crispy all right the moisture's cooked out of it the cauliflower and it's starting to kind of do its burny thing which is what we want so i've just combined all of it into one pan now because obviously like the veggies reduce a lot when the water comes out so it actually fits now nicely then with chicken thigh i've flipped them starts looking nice and golden like this um, then I let the other side cook for a few minutes and then I kind of tear it up 
um, and just cook it through the rest of the way. So the last time I made this fried rice, I made about half the amount and I used one egg and it was really good. Could have been a little bit more eggy. So just do it to taste. Like if you like it super eggy, do two. If you like a little, um, just do one. So I might do three and see how that looks for this amount of cauliflower rice. I've got a piece of cauliflower stuck in my throat. <clears> throat> <clears throat> wow. Normally I would put this in a bigger pan, but obviously I used it for the rice. So I just shred it up with a couple of forks like this and then continue to cook it all the way through. You can see like some of it's a little bit pink yet. So just doing that to finish it off. And then what you want to do with this is make a well in the center. I mean, this is how I saw someone on YouTube do it. So I'm like, all right, I'll do it like that. So that, like I'll do it better. But so that there's a decent like amount of pan showing and then you just crack the egg straight in there um, on like a medium low heat. And then it just slowly like stir it so it scrambles and then mix it through. Okay, I think I can do it. Just cut like that with a spit thing. And then scramble this. I mean, there's probably more professional ways to do this, but I'm not a chef. This is how I've been doing it. And this is taking a little bit longer than last time, obviously, because there's like triple the amount of egg in this one thing. But slowly just start mixing it all through and you keep going I want to have both hands because otherwise I'm scared I'm gonna flip this on myself and then by the time you finish Hamish just got home it'll look like this doesn't really look that good but it tastes so good and I'm not even the kind of person that really actually I never 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 order fried rice at restaurants or anything um, and I like it so there you go This so fuck we can't even like open it without them going everywhere. Oh, yeah. Alright, so we've got lunch for tomorrow. Done and dusted. And here's Hannah's for my dinner for tonight. Yum.